own up to your failure and be vocally self-critical about it. Vocally self-critical is a trait that Amazon values very highly. Next, clearly quantify how large the failure was. How much revenue did you lose? What was the cost that you incurred because of the failure? Be very specific and quantifiable about it. Then you move on and you provide a different response where you actually won. You use the learnings from your failure and you affected a positive outcome for your company. And lastly, explain why that success was instrumental and would not have happened without the learnings from your prior failure. Things you should not do is you should not beat yourself up. Just like I said in the beginning, state the failure, be honest about it and move on. Conversely, you also should not say that you don't have a big professional failure. If I hear a response like this as a bar raiser, I immediately have a yellow flag on that individual for earned trust because most likely this person is not very open with me. Also, don't say that your biggest professional failure is something unimportant. If you respond with a trivial failure, the yellow flags that are raised for the bar raiser are that you're falling short on a number of other leadership principles like bias for action, like delivery results, ownership, so on and so forth. The bar raiser thinks that you are maybe resting, investing, and you're not applying yourself and you're not pushing your career forward.